Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Valerie Dawson and I'm going to be showing you what I emptied of this month. So yeah, if you're interested in seeing what all the products I emptied this month, then just keep on watching. So um, I do have a lot of information down below on all these products and how like the actual links to each product. Um, it's not going to be in order of me talking about it, but they all will be listed down below with the, the links that you can easily click to click over to the website that I either got them from or you can get them from. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in any of the products that I mentioned in this video, just check out my description box and it will be easy for you. So the first thing I have is this Members Marked Cheesecake Miniatures and it had the New York style cheesecake, caramel chocolate chip cheesecake, and the strawberry swirl cheesecake. And yes, this is what I used, um, or what we ate at my um, birthday party that I had here at the house. And I must say, all, all three was really good. Um, the strawberry tasted really good. The um, caramel chocolate chip was really, really good. I love the caramel in it. And the um, New York style cheesecake was really good also. Um, yeah, these got like, we was eating like six at a time. Like, it, they was really, really good. Um, so if you ever go to Sam's and you like cheesecake, then I very highly suggest to pick this up. It does stay good for a good while. Um, it is in the frozen section at um, Sam's and all you have to do is like like keep it in your freezer until you want to dethaw it then put it in your cooler that day and then you know you can set it out when you're ready to eat them and they was really good that's what I did. I tore off the thing that said how long they stay good for but I want to say that they stayed good for at least two months but I want to say six months but I can't really remember but I highly suggest picking it up and um, just check the date on it and to see like when you want to have it um, and I guess you could actually pull out a little at a time for different occasions if you don't want all 63 but I'm telling you this was a good birthday cake for me and my friend for our like conjoined birthday party so um, she absolutely loved it everybody absolutely loved it so pick it up the next thing I have is a everyone lotion made with plant extracts and pure essential oils three in one hands face body citrus and mint lotion this smelled so so good um I can't remember if this is a repurchase or not but I know it uh, it was really good and I loved it and I want to repurchase it very highly suggest you picking it up um, if you are a person that doesn't like that um, really sticky feel feeling you have to have for a very hydrating lotion this doesn't do that um, it, it soaks in your skin or it absorbs in your skin really good and it's not as lightweight of the lotion that you will put on and you still like you start inching like a hour later it doesn't do that it's the perfect consistency of lotion I highly suggest picking that up for anybody the next product I have is this strawberry cheesecake nestle coffee mate the cheesecake factory at home coffee creamer um, here's what it looks like I got mine at Walmart and um, the it just tasted so good it doesn't it just tastes so good I don't know how to explain how good it tastes but if you're getting sick and tired of getting the normal vanilla and hazelnut other type of creamers and you want to change it up this is at Walmart um, and yeah I, I loved it if you like cheesecake and you like your sweet coffee creamers then you would love this one I think that was a rebuy too. The next thing I have is actually discontinued right now because I looked at the Bath and Body Works website right before making this video 
and um, I don't think they have it out right now, but I think it comes back off and on um, every year around winter time. So, but this is the White Barn Black Tie Scented Candle from Bath and Body Works. It's the three wick candle. Um, I like this smell. The uh, notes is green sage, sandalwood, and tonka bean. Um, I think it smells like a man's clone. Um, I guess it would be the sandalwood stands out to me the most. Um, it just smells really good. It smells like a man to me. I like my living room smelling like a man. So this is what I light up in my um, living room uh, while I'm cleaning and I liked it. It was really, really good and it burned really good. I was really happy with this candle and I definitely want it again. Next one I didn't really like um, is the Dr. Till's Pure Epsom Salt Soaking Solution and this is the lavender scent. I will leave a card right here in the corner um, of me using this uh, for a bath bomb. Um, me and my girls was uh, making Valentine's bath bombs and we use this in um, I just don't like the lavender scent that it has to it so definitely pick up the um, unscented kind if you want to try the Dr. Till's one um, but yeah I, I don't like the lavender scent one this lavender scent one but I do like their unscented ones to use in bath bombs and then I can just uh, use whatever bath wash I have to make it scented but yeah don't recommend the lavender ones but i do recommend the unscented ones the next thing i have is another barefoot moscato deliciously deliciously sweet wine um y'all know i love this if you've been watching my channel for a while um i actually got a bigger bottle this time because i'm getting tired of only being able to get two glasses out of this y'all yeah, y'all yeah. I have a big wine glass and that's how much I drink at a time. I will drink a half a bottle of this at a time. <laughs> but it's really sweet and I definitely recommend if you never liked wine before um, because you tried the dark bitter type ones and if you think all wine tastes like rotten fruit like I used to do then try this one you might like it. The next thing I have, I got from a Thrive Market haul of mine, the Desert Essence mouthwash in the flavor cinnamon, and that's what the bottle looks like. Um, I mean, it's a good mouthwash. Um, I just don't really like the flavor too much. Um, I'm not, I'm not too keen on cinnamon flavored stuff. Um, this one ha is a cinnamon like it says cinnamon flavored it tastes like cinnamon and mint or it smells like cinnamon and mint um i like mint flavored mouthwashes but i don't like cinnamon in it if that makes any sense but it did its job i did use it up and um i enjoyed it but i'm not getting the cinnamon flavored no more the next thing i have is a nature made ultra omega 3 fish oil and this is the 1400 milligram one and yeah that's what that looks like um, I got this one because I was wanting to use one tablet or one pill at a time instead of using two but I feel like this one didn't work as good as the uh, two which I have over there but I don't want to go get but if you're debating to see if this works actually a lot better than actually using two I don't think so in my personal opinion but so I went back to using two tablets at a time instead of this one but it is it I mean it's good I just I'm not gonna repurchase this one I'll just get the one with the two tablets next time I don't have a top a problem on taking pills so it's no big for me the next thing I have is a Garnier Fructis Style Volumizing Anti-Humidity Hairspray. And this is the extra strong one. This is what the can looks like. Um, I got this, I know, at least a year ago, probably two, maybe more. Um, I love this hairspray. 
Um, I actually had a big collection of hairspray and I'm not ordering any more hairspray until I use up what I have in my collection already. And then I will get to try out more cruelty free ones after using them all up. And y'all, I had a lot. I might actually um, declutter all my bathroom uh, products in six months. But yeah, it is a nice one and if you don't mind that it's not cruelty free, then it's a good hairspray. And the last product I have is a Wet n Wild Under the Sheets 25 Makeup Remover Towelettes. And this is a repurchase of mine. Um, I can't remember where I got this one, but I know you can get it at Walgreens or Walmart and a whole lot of other places you can get them. But these are just very cheap, good for the price. So I definitely recommend them. If you hadn't tried them already, definitely give them a try. They are good. Um, they're not like the very thin Dollar Tree tops. They are actually pretty good, and especially for the price, in my opinion. I don't really take off my makeup with makeup wipes too much. I just use it to clean up my face after doing my eyeshadow before putting my foundation on. So that's mainly what I do. Um, hand wipes with or my daughter needs them to take off her makeup before we go somewhere or for swatches or something like that so i like them all right that's the end of my march empties the products i used up through this whole month um i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you buddies next time bye